Hello there, and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. Today I'm going to be dipping your toes into what really starts to put the pro into Marvis Pro's app's name. My last video about some of the features and settings covered some things that can be pretty easily found in a few other apps. And while there are apps that can do what we're going to be looking at today, I haven't found any that work better than Marvis. So our focus for today is going to be a general view of the home screen and how to create different types of sections. This is going to be the main hub for all of our music listening fun right here. Now, Apple Music Stock app has a home screen as well, um, but a quick quick look over at Reddit and some other forums shows that there's a lot to be uh, desired in this. Um, everything is static. You're not able to really adjust anything except for removing certain things on the side here. And um, one of the big issues is that any Apple Music playlist, which I have a whole bunch, uh, is going to show up here. You can't put them in folders or anything like that. So that's where Marvis Pro is going to come into play here. It really opens all this up, and you're really only limited by your imagination for what you can have right here at your fingertips. Now, one thing I really want to stress is that Marvis really excels at connecting you to your library. Emphasis on the word library. Still a lot you can do if you're exclusively a playlist listener, but you won't be tapping into the full potential of the app. And the app is not as useful for finding new stuff outside of your library. But I do have a couple tips for that later on in setting up song mixes, and the radio shows help me out with that quite a bit as well. Uh, once again, the link for Marvis is down in the description. But for now, let's take a look and jump into some sections. Well, I've got one of almost every type of section on my homepage. And towards the bottom, I've actually got a few unfinished sections that I was just messing around with to see what I could get set up. But as we start off here, my top section is actually a home screen within a home screen. And I'll get a little bit into how to create those towards the end. But for now, I'm just tapping on this header that says Song Mixes brings up a whole second home screen here and I can add albums or song mixes too. This one is actually just song mixes, which act almost like smart playlists within Marvis. So these are all different sets of songs that I have rules applied to, and um, this acts almost like a folder for a number of different playlists for me. Heading back to my main home screen, I've got a section for recently added albums right here. And then I've got a similar one, but this is just like a giant section of every album that I have in my library. It's almost kind of recreating that CD book type feel, uh, if you're old enough to have experienced that. And in this, I have it set up to filter down to just only have albums that are at least five songs. Um, so it gets rid of all the singles or one-off songs or things like that. And I can scroll through this and uh, pick out which albums I want to listen to at my leisure when I'm in more of a full album mood versus a um, just kind of a playlist or song mix mood. Then I've got a few playlists pinned. These actually used to be up at the top, and I used to use these playlists right in front of me um, for almost all my music listening on Spotify as well as on Apple Music. I was basically like, these six playlists, that's all I ever used. Um, but I actually use Marvis's mixes a heck of a lot more now than the iTunes playlist, so I've moved these down. And just to kind of pick up where one of my other videos left off, I have a playlist for any unrated songs. And by tapping on that, I have it to display as a set of albums. So these are albums for me to listen to. Um, these are things that I mostly added on Friday when a whole bunch of new albums dropped. And then we've got a bonus old Black Keys album in there since I've got a concert of theirs coming up. And uh, I haven't had that in my, uh, my library, so I added that here to listen to as well. Heading back over, uh, I've got another couple um, home screens within a home screen here. Uh, this home screen is for different workout type things. So this is truly a mixed um, home screen. So I've got playlists up here. And then I've got these are a couple of different ways to um, combine songs and make really short song mixes that I play one after the other during a yoga flow. And then I've got a hit mix, which is um, something where I basically mix uh, pop and dance with heavy metal music. <laughs> so sometimes I can be a little jarring, but it works for me. Um, heading back here, I've got another section. Um, I made my own genre section. Now you can have Marvis easily um, take care of this and add a number of different genres. But like I mentioned in a previous one, I really like to mix generally a couple different genres. So I have, you know, like dance and pop music. Um, I have alternative and indie. And if you click on one of these genres, each one pulls up the same set of mixes. So it's got a my last 50 songs in those genres that I've added, a uh, number of different songs um, that are just shuffled that I like. 
it's got my highest rated albums. If I'm just curious, like what are my highest rated alternative and indie albums? And then I've got the highest played songs, um, our artists that are sorted by rating. And then on the bottom, I have just only downloaded songs. So if I'm ever offline, I can easily have a mix to just shuffle through within that genre. And I have that set up for pretty much all of my major genres right there. And then kind of touching on that, the last one that I'm going to take a look at is um, I do have a section right here. These are downloaded albums. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to create a downloaded playlist and then set it up so that you can basically count on a section to just be downloaded music. Um, so I have essentially this is a representation of a playlist I have of albums that are rated really highly and I can then um, download that in the background on Apple Music and then as it's displayed on here I can easily open up any album and I'll know that I could play this if I was offline. Creating a new section is super easy so what you're going to do is just scroll down to the bottom of your home screen here all the way down and you're going to click this big add button down there now there's a number of different um, recommended presets um, you can do recently played or added songs albums or playlists um, your top rated or loved music and the developer actually added one for forgotten songs which will show you songs you've listened to at least 10 times but not in the last two months so a number of different kind of presets there to get you started but the real customization is going to come from the library options down here on the bottom uh, if you tap on that, you'll be able to start out with just an unfiltered list of whatever these items are. So if you want to create a section of songs, tap on songs, it's going to create, this is just an, an unfiltered list, this is every song in my library. And what you're going to want to do with those is add different filters and different ways to narrow that down to something that means something to you. That's actually going to be the topic of my next video. The last thing I want to point out in this add section menu is something that I referenced earlier, and that's actually creating a new home screen. Now, this is something you can use if you want to create a bunch of new sections, but consolidate them under one header, like I showed you earlier. Uh, I've got two of those in use right now. This um, To be able to create one is actually up at the top here. It's the top menu. Creating a new home just starts out with uh, pretty much a blank slate. If you tap on the um, title of it, you can add as many sections as you want. Um, and then customize it to your liking. To change the, the name of it, you're actually gonna hold down on the title and you can click on rename and then type it, you know, test. It's always a creative name. Um, and then create everything to your liking. So if, if I go up to my top section here, which is the, the song mixes home, um, you can do it in one of two different ways. So you can either tap on the song mix, which will pull you right into here. And that's actually how I do about 90% of my music listening is just by tapping on that and then starting to click play. Um, you can also, like I showed earlier, tap on the title um, and you're able to see the, the different sections here and you can hold on each section, which pulls up different options for that section, including these ones at the top here. Now I don't have my mouse cursor available. You can see that there are, there's a shuffle. So you could shuffle that section. You could play it at the bottom of your queue. You can add it to a playlist. Um, you can play it at the top of your queue or just play it regularly. So those are also other options for how to quickly get uh, different sections. So let's say that I, I have my Alt Nation mix here. That's only 25 songs, and I guess I say only, but that's going to be about an hour and 28 minutes. So if I was playing that and I know that I'm not going to want to mess with my music for a little bit, I can go back and I can add the BPM radio and I can tap on the end of queue. So then I can play Alt Nation followed by BPM right off the bat there. So that's a little bit about how to do a home screen within a home screen. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in my next video. Um, we'll set up some basic sections. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to set up filters, limits, and sort sections. So we'll really start to play around with some of what Marvis Pro has to offer in that video. Thank you so much, and we'll be talking to you soon.